You know how it is. At the end of the summer, your porch is just kind of tired. I mean, it's been growing and growing. It's been very busy, very active. And mine is looking pretty tired. I have cobwebs all over. I have another little disgusting thing all over. I'll tell you about that here in a second. But today I'm gonna take down all the plants, not all of them. I'm gonna keep some of them. I'm gonna add some new plants for with fall colors. I'm going to take down some of the summer freshness that we had and just kind of change things out a little bit. And yeah, let's see how it goes. But anyway, I wanted to show you our front porch and where we are now with the summer. So here it is. It's This has been a really enjoyable spot. The sweet potato vines growing in the chicken feeder planters have been, oh my goodness, just gorgeous. They're gorgeous on both sides. They're pretty on this side. They're pretty when you're sitting in those Adirondack chairs. We've just really enjoyed that. The crepe myrtle shrubberies, you can see they're blooming very nicely. In fact, right now I hear lots of little bees buzzing around. They're just doing, they're doing their thing of what bees are supposed to be doing. You see them there? Anyway, this front porch just needs a little help. For the fall, we're going to change out some of the summer things that I had and like the lavender up there in that basket. I have a little surprise behind that sign. Hang on, I'll show you. And I'm going to refill this planter here. Actually, I'm not gonna refill it. This is new to us. We just bought it at an auction. You're not gonna believe what my husband paid. I think it was about a dollar. We got a bunch of them. I'm gonna refill that or fill it, put some flowers in that and possibly paint it. I'm still debatable about that. I think I'm going to paint it. The fern will stay, but some of these other things, I'm just going to change out. Those bright yellow pillows that I had for summer from Walmart, I wanna change those. I don't have any yet, but I definitely wanna change the pillows. I wanna wash our rug chair covers, freshen up a little bit here. The big thing that I need to do is take care of, ooh, I have a special thing coming here. You saw the thing that I'm going to put here, you saw it in my uh, thrifting video for, from our summer vacation. I'm gonna put it right here. So I need to decide where this is going. Some of these plants I'm going to change out. I really wanna change out our flag and just put that away for now. I don't know what I'm gonna put there. I don't have anything in plan yet. But first of all, before I do any of this, I need to clean. Do you see all of that? Yeah, that's the remnants of one of our little frogs. Let me show you this little frog. That little frog, we actually had two of them, and he has been, he and they, it's only one today, I just checked, he's been hanging out right there behind that sign, just hanging out. And then at night, when I have these nice soft lights on, you see I have all the patio lights that go across on the inside, plus I have this lampshade. By the way, I do have a tutorial of how to make a hanging lampshade from a thrift store find for your front patio and I'll link the blog post below. Anyway, that little frog will come out when those soft lights are on because the moths and you know, all the little bugs come out and this frog just has a heyday and he's living right there behind that sign. Let me show you. All right, let's take a little look. Hopefully he won't hop at us. We have no idea what to expect when I open this up because sometimes he will, there he is. Sometimes he will hop if I get too close so I'm gonna do this very carefully. His feet are like suction cups. There he is. His feet are like suction cups. There he goes. Yeah, he's big. He's, he's a pretty big fella. And he comes out at night and has a heyday with the bugs and he leaves remnants. If you know what I'm saying, he leaves lots of remnants that I don't like and I'm gonna hose it all off. So here's a great tip for cleaning your porch. Get some spray cleaner. I'm using Mrs. Myers. I'll link it down. It's a multi-surface cleaner. It's real safe for a lot of things. And your broom. There's no sense in getting down on your hands and knees. Just use your broom and use it as a little scrub brush along with your hose and then hose it all down. You get a clean broom at the end of it and a clean porch. So let's get to it.
All right, so I just found another frog. I did not know, but we have another frog living behind the flag. Let me show you. So here's this flag. It's been hanging at the end of our uh, front porch all summer. In fact, you can see how I made this over on the Miss Mustard Seed YouTube channel and their blog. I made one of these flags out of picket fences. It's a fun project. So um, I'll, I'll put a link to that, but let's just take a peek at what's going on behind this flag. Hopefully he won't jump out. See the shadow? There he is. Let me try from the other side. Whoops. <laughs> Let me listen. I'm not afraid of frogs, but I am about their little startle. They kind of startle you. So let's let's peek in on this side without being jumped on because these frogs, they have like suction cup legs. Yeah, there he is. He's facing us. He sees us. Yeah, they have suction cup legs and they stick to you. I know from experience. And when one of those frogs sticks to you with these suction cup magnet things, it is really freaky. I'm just going to say it. I don't like the feeling. <laughs> All right, so we, we went to the auction yesterday morning and that, I don't know if you'll be seeing this video before or after this one, but I'll, I'll show you all the stuff that we got at that auction. Um, but my husband uh, came across some amazing planters. I've been looking for these. They're expensive, brand new, so I'm a little tight with money. Um, but he found these and I was really impressed. So I'm going to move this over. It, it's kind of heavy and I do already have some dirt in it. And yes, I know that there are some tricks to fill it with styrofoam so that you don't use up so much dirt and all that. I, I totally get that. And some of these, I, I have three of them. Some of them I have filler like that and some are just all dirt. This one is all dirt. Um, it's just in really good shape. I have to decide about painting it. I think I want to paint it black, but I'm not sure because the trim on our home is black. So I, I don't know about that, but that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. So it's not too heavy. There we go. And I'm either going to put it here on that side of the front door. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. What do you think? Should it be here? Because we enter the door here and I feel like that is plenty out of the way. Let me get you a little closer to see because I need your help. So here's my front door. Our front door is not symmetrical. I only have one, one side light on one side. I like, I don't like things, all, everything symmetrical. I kind of like this look. So here is the single planter. I have three of them. Two are going to go on either side of the garage door. There's some symmetry for you. But this single one, I think I can get away with out here because I don't have a symmetrical look for this front door. I'm either going to put it here or let me back up a little bit here or I'm going to put it here. I haven't decided. I'm leaning towards that and for now the fern is going to go in there. So we'll see how that looks. Let me know in the comments after I get, take a look at this first. Take a look at the fern on this side of the door and then let me know, do you think I should move it over to here or to here? I don't know. I'm really leaning towards there. I'm not 100% sure yet. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Isn't that gorgeous, by the way? Look at that thing. It cuts so big. All right. Already, I know that it needs to be up higher. I think for now, I'm going to leave it. And I might actually transplant it and put more dirt in here. I haven't decided. But I can decide that. And bear in mind, I'm pretty sure that that planter is going to be painted black. First, I need to get the whole porch cleaned and, and all of that before I can think about fun projects like painting.
And there you have it, our fall front porch refresh. I'm going to really enjoy this space, so is my husband. In fact, I'm going to start enjoying it right now. It's early in the morning, it's before eight o'clock. I'm going to finish my coffee and just spend some time in my journal and just enjoy the outdoors and the sounds of nature. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We love sharing projects like this one, as well as upcycles and thrift store shopping and all sorts of things like that. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. And there you have it, our fall, again. There goes our car. And subscribe to our channel, it's early. Let's try it again. Ah, it's early. That just sounds stupid. <laughs>